Hey, all right, let's continue. In this video, I wanted to just explain a little bit more about what else is going on here in BigQuery. But first, what we're gonna do is see up here, it says free trial, $300 in credit, 91 days remaining, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna hit dismiss on this so it won't bother me anymore. And this will just make it to where like, if your three months runs out or your $300 in credit runs out, which I doubt the $300 in credit will run out, um, it'll just basically like pause your account and won't let you use it until you activate it. But a trick there, if you just want to keep practicing after three months is just make a new Gmail account and make a new BigQuery account. But anyway, I'm going to hit dismiss so this doesn't bother us anymore. And this is where we left off in the last video was querying this table. And some other things you can do, like if, if there's a query, uh, let's just say maybe we wanted to save a query that we were working on. Like maybe you want to see the years where births in a county are greater than 20,000. This was a query that you worked on. You can come up here to save and hit save query. Greater than 20K birds. Hit save. And then um, that should show up in your save queries. And where you find those save queries is under your aerobic name here or whatever yours is under your project that you're in it'll save your queries in this saved queries thing so if you come here to save queries greater than 20k birds and you can open this query which we already have open well i could say we didn't have this open and you can open that and save your work that way um, another thing you can do is share these with other people. I'm like, if you're working with other people, I'm not really sure what this does. Uh, well, anyway, schedule. Uh, this is interesting. You can en enable scheduled queries. So if you want a query to run on a schedule, uh, you can enable that here. I'll make another video on that, but like basically what that is, is you can set up a scheduled query that will run. And usually what they do is they will like overwrite another table. And so you can, if you wanted to make a SQL query, uh, like if this data was always getting refreshed and you wanted a table that was always refreshed, that was just these birds greater than 20,000, you could set up a scheduled query to run this query and overwrite a table called like birds greater than 20,000 um, and have that data fresh too, which actually I, I'm gonna do that in another video, but that's what this is. Under more, um, you can click this and it'll format your query for you. I don't really like this because this isn't really how I like queries to be formatted, but you can do that. Um, then you can also come here to SQL settings. So right now the standard is it'll save your query results in a temporary table. So what's happening when you run this is it's basically saving this in a little temporary table here that uh, you're seeing down here. But if you switch this to set a destination table for your query results, um, why don't we just do that now, it'd be interesting. Let's create a data set. Um, birds. So we just created a data set here, birds. So we can go back to our query here. And if we wanted this query, we could set a destination table for our query results. What we could do is basically make uh, a table out of this.
write if empty. What this means is it's like going to make the table if there's nothing there. Append just means it's going to, if there's an existing table already there, it's going to just take the output of this query that you ran and append it to the bottom. It's just going to like, not going to overwrite any data. It's just going to like mash it into the bottom of the table and overwrite is it's going to just completely overwrite the table. But since this table doesn't exist, we'll click write if empty. Um, some of this other stuff you don't really have to worry about. Yeah. So, so you hit save. So now this query destination table is this birds greater than 20 K. So if we run this, we should have a table here, birds greater than 20 K that just popped up which was the output of this query, which is now a table under this data set. Um, another way that you can do that is let's just make this query back to a temporary table where it's not overwriting or, and there's not a destination for the output of our query. We can come here to save results and what you can do, you have a few different options here. You can save it as a CSV to your Google Drive. You can save it as a CSV local file. You can save it uh, as a couple different types of JSON. You can send it to Google Sheets. You can copy the results to a clipboard, which is interesting. You can also save it as a BigQuery table. And so like, um, you can save it as a table this way. So let's make another table. These two are exactly the same, but I just wanted to show you two different ways of making those tables. I'm going to delete this one since it's exactly the same as this other one. Um, yeah, you can also come here and hit explore data and this will take you, this will basically put your data into a Google sheet. This will put it uh, into Looker Studio and this will allow you to explore it with Python. So this is a few different things you have available to you. Um, down here, um, you can look at some of the job information. You can see your results in the JSON format. But anyway, this is getting a little too complicated. And I just wanted to, to show you some of the other things that you have available to you uh, here in this query console.